Hello everybody and welcome back to Train Sim World once again. Got a lot of requests to return back to this simulator and we're going to do it today. We've got NEC New York uh, and I heard a lot of people wanted to see the uh, freight train so we're going to do that today. We're going to be doing terminal switch. Should take about 40 minutes to get it done. Maybe a little earlier, we never know. Um, we'll select this one. Here we are and I'm happy with that. Let's do it. Terminal switch. All right. Shall we do it? Oh, we got a train moving. Where are we supposed to go? Um, welcome to Oak Point Yard. We need a cut of box cars. Uh, taking Hunts Point Terminal. I'm going to get around this guy. I think our train's over here. Yep, it is. I did uh, jump into this just to make sure it all works because I have a new graphics card. So we're going to head over here to this train and get going. Check this thing out. Very nice. That one is leaving the yard. I got uh, a significant boost in frames per second by uh, upgrading to the 2080 card rather than the 1080 Ti. But it could just be optimizations in the game. I don't know. Haven't uh, you know done any freight train stuff in a very long time. Ooh, it's very cool up here. All right, climb aboard, sit in the engineer's seat in the lean locomotive. We will do that. Where's my guy? Usually we have a guy sitting over there. I guess not today. Uh, set the reverser brakes and throttle to get going. Okay, so let's do that. We've got uh, this guy here. You need to go to off. Uh, reverser can go to forward. Uh, and that is our throttle. We can mess with the throttle all we want here with the controller. I'm going to put it on throttle of four. Takes a little bit of power to get this baby moving. But we're moving. A couple blasts of the horn there. Let people know we're, uh, we're rolling out. Okay, so we need to go down to... Uh, Oh, there's one more thing we have to do, and that's this. This needs to be all all the way unreleased. There we go. Oh, there she is. How you doing, ma'am? Uh, head out to the Bronx River Bridge. You will need to make sure you set any necessary switches along the way. Okay, so let's keep an eye on that and put it on idle, and we're going to go to this page and make sure we're good to go here. That looks good. That one looks good. That one looks good. Um, all right, are all these? These all look pretty darn good all the way out to here. Um, yep. Cool. Uh, let's see, we're going to have to make a switch here. So I will go ahead and do that now so I don't have to do that later. There we go. Yeah, radio up to them. Tell them, hey, make the switch because if we continue down this yellow line, I believe that dead ends. Yes, it does. That's why it's orange. Okay. That should be good. That's all we need right now. Let's go to the Bronx River Bridge. going to bring up some power here. We can go a little faster than seven miles per hour. That's for certain. It's such a beautiful sim. Like, I, I'm really, really enjoying the uh, train sim world with the expansions. A little bit more power than that. Come on, baby. Let's get going. Very nice. And we'll get to explore a little bit of this today as well. All right. So, bring our throttle back a couple notches. Don't need to go too fast here. Let's go to the outside view and have a look at the train. We're leaving the yard. Oh, nice. Look at that reflection. That is cool. Oh, hello. Couple blasts of the horn here. Ooh, that's got a good sound of horn on it. It really does. And no annoying bell either. That's really cool. All right, we'll watch our speed here. Oh, nice. There goes the Amtrak train right there. Oh, there's two of them. No, that's cool. All right. Up here on the street level there. Boy, those things are cruising, aren't they? They're going pretty quick. All right, we're good on our speed right now. Let's double check our uh, tracks here. Those look good. Those look good. Yep, that was the one we had to change over. So that is fine. Because I said we'll have to do any uh, necessary switches along the way. And bring up our power a little bit more here. We get onto the right track. Throttle number four. All right. Doing good now. Doing real good. How are y'all doing? Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week, didn't we? Hope you had a good one. It is the weekend. It is here. Pull back the throttle a little bit. Uh, currently 79 in the uh, office right now. It was at 75 earlier today. Uh, right now it's having a little bit of trouble keeping up. 
in the heat of the day. Um, but the portable AC is, is working out pretty darn good. Our AC is still broken. Uh, and I keep badgering the company every day. I'm like, hey, it, it's been out for exactly one week today. And then it was kind of having issues before. And uh, we had a guy come out and, and put refrigerants in it. Because we were paying that out of our own pocket, which we shouldn't do anyway. But I will tell you this, dealing with the uh, company, I won't name their name, uh, is an absolute nightmare down here. And they just, this is the reason why. I was like, well, we had people staying with us. So we just filled it up with refrigerant and it pretty much blew through that. All right. Doing all right here. I'm liking it. Let's go to the outside view again. Look at this beautiful train. Ooh, hello. Oh, that is so cool. So, so cool. <laughs> you know what? Our lights aren't on. That's one thing I've noticed in the scenarios. Also, another thing is that that is definitely not my guy that you choose in the very beginning at all. Um, one thing I do notice, uh, that's how we looked in the back, is, yeah, they don't have the lights on, like, all the time. I don't know what's going on with that. Let's try to figure out how to turn them all on. I think it's these right here. The headlights. Yeah, bright. There we go. That's, that's much better. There we are. I like that. Yeah. That's how it should look right there. Great looking train. Oh, we're going fast. All right, see, I started messing around with stuff and we're already screwing up. Watch our speed here. And a little bit of power. A little bit of braking. Get it back down to the speed it needs to be at. That's the only thing, man. Sometimes if you go out and you uh, just uh, are playing around with cameras and stuff, you can easily start speeding. She doesn't seem to care. She's supposed to holler at me. Hey, dummy. Keep an eye on what you're doing. I'm going to go throttle three for right now. 800 yards to the stopping point. So we'll try to uh, keep an eye on that. 700 yards now. I'm just kind of looking at the uh, at the route. This is pretty cool looking. If you're from the UK, you call it a route. Here in the US, we call it a route. Uh, we got yellow three on that... Uh, on that guy there. All right, this thing is starting to really s speed, so I'm gonna add some brakes. It's not gonna take much, 500 yards away. There we go, we'll just keep an eye out on it. We'll release those bad boys. I'm on a little bit more power. We don't need to, get don't need to get too slow here. That's one thing that uh, you can do quite easily is uh, creep around and it takes forever to get the objectives done so I'm going to try to not do that today we did that last time in the Amtrak video Boy, she everybody in this game they just look so depressed don't they I mean she's just so depressed all right we'll go to idle on this one and we'll just kind of coast right in here we'll add the uh, the brakes when we get a little closer to that you don't have to be perfect on it. Uh, I've uh, I've gone past these markers a little bit. They're pretty lenient. Look at all the graffiti on the walls. The housing. That's pretty cool. Housing. All right, hundred something yards here. Oh, we're going fast. All right. Start applying that service. Full service on the brakes. Make sure we can get a little down a little bit. Throttle is at idle. A little less braking action here. Release them. See, that's not what I wanted to happen right there was, why is it coming to a complete stop? There we go. It's sometimes uh, a little finicky to get used to the uh, amount of braking you need. Okay. We're almost to it. A little bit more throttle than that. And it should be happy. Go to the outside view while we get here. Oh, look at that. Now we can add our full service on the brakes. And idle power. There we go. Are they happy with us? They should be. Yes, they are. Nice. Okay. So, uh, set track switch. Climb down and set the track switch to access Hunt's 
point terminal. Okay. Uh, first things first, safety first. We'll go neutral on that. Idle. Dynamic brakes are off right now. We're at full service on that. And independent brakes, we're going to put those on full as well, just to make sure. Hop on up, out of the chair, and uh, 300 yards away. Man, okay. Gonna go all the way down there. Come out here and admire the beautiful models of these trains, man. They look really good. I love the reflective tape. That is so neat. That looks so good. Look at that. All right, so 300 yards down this way. Let's do it. Walking across the bridge here. We can have a nice look at that little creek there. Well, that doesn't look very pretty right there, does it? No, not with that pipe sticking out like that. Here's the back of the train. Oh, it's even got the little flashing red light on it. That's cool. Pretty neat. This is the switch here. If we're changing the switch back here, it means we're going to have to go backwards. I have a feeling that's what they're going to have us do. Switch that lever, and there they go. Yeah, we're going to be going straight back now. Return to the engineer's seat of the lead locomotive. All right, another 300 yard sprint back. We made it back here to our train. Hop up on here. And we'll get into the engineer's seat. Again, close the door. There we go. All right, how you doing? Doing all right? Enjoying it? Are we moving? We are moving. How are we moving? Let's sit in the engineer's seat. Oh, we're not moving. Okay. Strange. All right. Make your way to Hunt's Point entrance. You will need to make sure you set any necessary switches along the way. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. So we are going backwards to this. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty straightforward there. If we have any switches, let's see where this one's at. Oh, that's the only, okay. That's the one we need there. Yep. That needs to be switched to go to there. Uh, any other switches? How is this one looking? That one's straight back. Sweet. That's the one we just did. All right, cool. Those, sh those should be all we need to do. So let's go ahead and now put uh, our reverser to the reverse position. And we're going to release you. And we're going to release you as well. And we're kind of going downhill, so we need to add power to go back. Come on, baby. A little bit more throttle than that. There it goes. Nicely done. A couple of hits of the horn there. Let people know we're moving. All right, throttle four. So we're going up a hill now as we reverse. Looking good. All right, so what we'll have to do here is, since we're going backwards, we can use our outside view, and if you hit it again, uh, we're in the back here. And we'll keep an eye on this to make sure it's hitting the right ones. Yep, seemed like it did good there. Very nice. We'll just watch our speed here. A little bit more throttle. And we're looking good as of now. Can't really see much from back here. The only way you can really monitor how close you are to your objective is, you know, the map or to do that camera view we just did in the bag. Pull the throttle a little bit here. How is our grade? We're at a 0.6 up. Okay. That's pretty flat. That's not bad. Okay, a little bit more throttle. Here we go. There's that uh, wonderful bridge we crossed earlier. Yeah, see, we had to walk a long way down here, and the switch was right there. Right there. There it is. Okay, watching our throttle. Let's go back outside here to this view. And we just want to make sure we go into Hunt's Point Terminal, which is that switch that we did switch. Double check here. That is the one we just did. This one here. Yeah. That was the one we had to switch. And we did exactly that. So that's good. A little bit more throttle here. We'll kind of take it easy getting in here. We don't want to waste too much time. Time is money, my friends. Time is money. Okay. Is it going to go in there? Yes, it is. That's what I'm talking about. All right, a little bit more of a stretch to go until we get there. Let's monitor our speed right now. 
uh, and we'll just pretty much monitor it through this camera angle. There's not a whole lot to see up front, so I don't think we need to do that. All right, now we're going to be going downhill. Look at that. I'm going to go idle on this guy and just let it coast in there on the speed. And we'll apply braking as we need to. Yeah, because a 2% grade downhill is a lot. Just add some or using dynamic brakes. What I've noticed is that sometimes it just does whatever it wants. It changes between your independent brakes and all that on the controller. I mean, this is working great, the dynamic brake is. But we should go up here to the front because if we're using dynamic brakes, man, you'll you'll hear that engine screaming. Let's see? A little more dynamic brake, you hear it winding up. It's doing a good job though. It's not bad. Very nice. This does a little bit here. We'll just use dynamic brakes all the way in. 700 yards to that. I'm gonna have a look and see. Oh, okay, we can go right through that uh, that building with the camera. Did not know that. We should do one free cam, shouldn't we? I think we should. Get the, watch this thing come down the line. I love the sounds in this. They're really, really well done. The dynamic braking of two. We got plenty of time there to watch it go by. I want to make sure we aren't going too fast because, man, you can get there quick. Yeah, the train hasn't even gone around the corner yet. And we're at 0.6 uphill now, so that's not so bad. Oh, man, that's loud. That chirping noise, I don't know what that was about. There's the engine. Two of them. Very nice. All right, we're almost there to the gates. Sweet, perfect timing. And we're gonna add a little bit more dynamic braking. That's slowing it down quite a bit. And once we get right here into the gate, we're gonna be all right. That worked out just fine. Okay, we're at the gate. Let it come to a stop here. And we'll go full on that. And that'll stop it. Is it happy with it? Yes, it is. Sweet. Okay. Uh, set the track switches to gain access to Hunt's Point Track A2A. All right. Um, a little bit of throttle here. What's going on? We're like going down the hill. <laughs> there we go. We'll just hold it about throttle two. Let's look and see what we need to do here. We need to back this sucker into here. Okay. So are you good to go? You are good. What about you? You are not good. Oh, this is what I need right here. There we go. Now we don't have to get out and run all the way down here. That should take us all the way in. That should be the ticket. All right. We're going to go with that then. Dynamic brakes are off, and we're just giving it some throttle, and we're going to move it right on in there. Oh, yeah, you can hear this baby screaming. Into the trees we go. Watching our speed as we get into the rail yard here. Pretty detailed, though, these parking lots. That's cool. All right, we're going to watch what we're doing here. Thro throttle to idle on this guy. It's only 500 yards away. And this should be the switch we need here. We should be going into the one on the left. It seems like it should. Yep, perfect. We did it right. I love when that happens. We're doing just fine on speed. We only had one mess up, and that was uh, earlier on when we were out messing around with the the camera views. That's to be expected. 
See, it still wants uh, dynamic break. Um, we'll do setup on that here in a moment. So it starts to slowly ap apply it. And then we're going to put on all the brakes once we get here. Because we are on perfect level ground here. Not bad at all. Here comes the dynamic braking coming in now. That's going to stop her. Nice and good. Let's go full on that. Come on, baby. Stop, stop, stop. Boy, that is taking a while to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and just put our brakes on then, shall we? Let's go full service on you. There we go. Okay, turn that guy down to one. But off, actually. And then we'll put this to uh, this brake here, independent brake to full application. Versa will put it to neutral. And let's get out. We need to uncouple vehicles. 15. Oh, that's all the cars we had. Perfect. Come down here. Climb on down. 21 yards. This should be pretty simple. Just pull the coupler deal here. There we go. Wait a moment. Objective complete. All right. Is that it? Return to engineer's seat of the lead locomotive. All right. We'll do that. Line up we go. And we'll close the door after us. Job well done, everybody. Job well done. All right. We're going to sit into the engineer seat. Hunts Point Terminal Entry. Stop the location. All right. Well, you go to release. You go to bail off. Forward on the reverser. And add a little bit of power here. Blast the horn a couple times. And we're looking good. Look at that. Goodbye, cars. That's fun. Throttle of two. Party of two. Only 100 yards away. Just idly bring the, the engine in. Ooh, that looks cool. Honk. 30 yards. All right. Idle on you and brakes. Pull out. Oop. Oh, man. Okay, that thing stopped in a heartbeat. A little bit more throttle. We'll just slowly roll into this spot. That was an idle. And we stop right here. I think that the uh, controller uses what you last used. Set the track switches again, this time to access track C1B beyond the cut of boxcars. C1B. Okay, let's look and see what we got going on here. Uh, where's C1B? We need, oh, down here? Okay. So we need this line. That's straight in. That looks good. What about these switches here? And then you need to go there. You need to go there. And then now you need to be straight there and you're straight there. That should do it just fine. All right, cool. On back we go. I'm to set the reverser to the other way. To reverse and let's add the, release the brake. Okay, so yeah, it seems like it uses um, what you last touched. So that's good to know. It's in the release mode. Perfect. All right. Let's slow this puppy down. We're at idle. Wonderful. I think we're going where we need to go. All the way down here to pick up something. I don't think there's any cars there. Are they? Just, they just where they want us to stop for some reason. You got it, though. If that's what they want, we can do it. A little more throttle than that. Remember, this thing stops on a dime. 
Not too shabby. Bring it to the yard. Yep, looking great. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Let's go to the other car. What's this one? No lights on that one. That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Just a little bit. Let them know we're coming around this corner. In case there's people. And we seem to be fine. You gotta admit, though, this game is beautiful. It is a pretty game. Perfectly flat. We're, we're cruising pretty good here. Right under the speed limit. The throttle one. Increasing a little bit of speed here. I'll get it right where it needs to and we'll put it at idle. Because we're on flat land. A lot of flat land here. There we go. Idle that guy. Coming down the corridor. Down that corridor. I guess this is it. I mean, we, we did the job. We dropped off those. I don't know what else they want us to do. We'll find out, though. We're almost there. If you guys uh, want to see more of Train Sim World, be sure to hit the like button so I know what you want to see. And we can continue to do the uh, tutorials, or not tutorials, but the scenarios that come with the uh, DLC. This is pretty cool, though. I'm liking it. Sure wish it had VR support, though, man. That would be awesome. I know there's another real sim out there uh, that is for VR, and um, I did get my Oculus Rift S working, so if you want me to check out that one, maybe I could do a video on that as well. We're at idle on that guy. We're just going to wait till we get here and we're going to start adding the power. Or the, the power. The brakes. Just like that. Perfect. Couple to formation. 15. Oh my. Okay. We aren't done yet. Let's go ahead and, uh, and do that. So we need to just hit this guy, which was set to straight. Needs to go over to that. And we'll back right in on it. You got it, boss. Let's set that reverser to forward. There we go. And we'll release our brakes. And throttle it on up. And we're moving this way. And we got a great view of, of uh, coupling this guy. We'll do the outside view so you can see it happen, but... The outside view. As we are going to make the turn here. They're making us work today. They're like, no, you thought it was going to be easy? No, 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 no. I mean, granted, it did say it would take 40 minutes. And they weren't lying about that. Close to that. Throttle is at idle, and we're just gonna barely add the uh, barely add the brakes here. We're almost to it. Come on, baby. Almost there. Just tap right on to that at about three miles an hour. That'll be perfect, actually. It is right there. Got him. Objective complete. We'll go full on the brakes. Good work. Push these cars back out to the Bronx River Bridge Junction in order to head back to Oak Point Yard. Oh, we got to go back to the Oak Point Yard. All right, so just push these guys out. That's pretty simple. 
So let's make sure we are good to go on that. I'm going to go to here. Like that. I need you to go to there. You're happy with that. Yep, straight on out from there. Straight on out from there. Awesome. I love it. And then out back to the bridge. We can do that. No problem. No sweat. All right. Brake is on release throttle. We're going to bring that up to about four. There we go. Let them know we're coming out of the yard here. Watch our speed on that guy as well. And we can go to the outside view and keep an eye out on our train here. Oh, okay. We can't because we're technically pushing it. That will work for me. Just watch our speed and keep an eye on our switches, which I think everything's going to be a okay. Looks like it is working out just fine. Again, double check. Good and good and good. Sweet. That's all we need. We got to push that all the way out here. So looking at the switches here, that's still connected to that guy. And then it's straight on from there. Perfect. We don't have to touch anything else. Just manage our speed. That's it. I'm liking it. <laughs> don't really need our light on there, but yeah, we can turn that light off. Actually, don't need it on at all. Go to the off position for you. This is the rear, isn't it? Rear headlight. I can keep it on dim. No, we don't need that on at all either. It's off. Off for you, my friend. And we can just enjoy the the view and monitor speed all the way back out. 1.1 mile trip. We get a better uh, speed after we're out of the yard here. There's the front of the train. We can see it right there. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this, this game is just screaming for a VR experience. It would just be so much fun. I just don't know why they haven't given it support. There we go. Now we are past that point. We can go a little faster. One thing that's great about this train is we don't have that annoying bell come on every time you hit the uh, horn. I know that drove a lot of people crazy last time. This is going very well so far. There's got to be a way we can actually see the end of the other part of the train, but I don't know. We'll go to idle on that since we have this little downhill. We get a little quick. We just add a little bit of dynamic brakes, and we'll be fine. I'm gonna keep an eye out on it, and that's it's 15 there. It's a very short train. It's not very long, so what's gonna be cool is we're gonna have to uh, when, once we get where we're at, we're gonna have to set that train up behind us, and, and we're gonna have to drive that one out of here. And that's what we're gonna have to do. 15. Just a little bit. Oh, we were using independent brake. No, I don't want that. Let's use our uh, dynamics. Go to setup on that. That's going to keep it pretty decent there. No, nope, independent. No, it doesn't matter what I last touched. Sometimes it just has a mind of its own, man. Go off on you. And now we're going uphill, so we're going to need a little bit more power to get up the hill now. 0.7 miles away from our next stop. A lot more throttle to get up this hill. A lot more throttle. There we go. A little smoke coming out of that sucker. Let's look at our map here. We got to be getting close. Already there. Nice. Let's keep an eye on the route map. And as we climb the hill, she just doesn't seem very interested in what we're doing today. 
It's all right. Let's keep an eye on this. It's that car there. They get it right to there. Unless they want to... Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. They want us to stop our train there, so... Or our uh, engine. So that doesn't matter anyway. It shouldn't. And uh, let's make sure that there's no truck... No switches or anything there. Nope, that looks like it'll be fine. But if we get to there, we should... I think if they, I think we're going to put that car there. We'll see what if that if it likes that. And if it doesn't, we'll, we'll drive all the way up there ourselves. Oh, I'm not paying attention. And we just started going crazy on this. What is going on here? Oh, we're in downhill, that's why. Kind of brakes off. Come on. More brake than that, man. We need a lot more dynamic brakes. Give her all she's got, Captain. All right. It's getting close. Oh, this isn't slowing down, like, at all. Come on. There's some independent brakes on it, too. That's going to help slow it. Full application. If this doesn't slow it down, I don't know what will. All right, turn you off and let it just come to a stop here. Let's see what we got. Let's see if it likes it. If not, we'll, like I said, nope, it's happy with that. Sweet. Okay, I'll put you to full service because we have to do the, uh, oops, not suppression, went full service. Not emergency, geez, Louise. Full service, thank you very much. And that's on full off neutral for you uh climb down and set the track switch for oak point yard okay we'll do it i think they're gonna have to get set up in the other but we'll see well this isn't such a long walk this time so that's good just run right down here no problem our engineer is in shape here it is right here all right, switch those to that, and back we go. Turn the engineer seat of the lead locomotive. Yep. Okay. So they don't want us in that one. You got it. Okay, close your door there. Sit in the engineer seat. What do they want us to do now? Set the automatic brake to handle off. Yep, we will do that. There we go. Go to off. What? Handle off. Where are you at? There you goes. Uh, cut out switch to cut out. Oh, we are going to have to do this then. Okay. Set the MU2A valve to trail six. We go switch off the systems all right and off headlight control that right there goes to uh set to be controlled from another unit okay whoa this thing is just being stupid what are you doing Headlight like control another unit there we go radio fuse box open that guy up Let's get out of this uh, seat here so we can check it out ourselves. Uh, that goes to off. Change cabs. Oh, move to the rear. Okay, you got it for the return trip. It's all set up in here where it needs to be. Okay, it just kind of moves back and forth. I don't know what that's about. All right, close you up. Have fun up there. We'll see you later on. Rubber. Um, can we cross this way? Oh, well, we can if we just go like this. Go. There we are like that. Or, okay. Nope. Doesn't want me to. Alright, whatever. Climb down. We'll get in up in on this one. There we go. And we'll have to get this thing set up. There we go. Because you sit here. 
All right, so let's get this thing ready to go. Switch on the radio fuse. Oh, well, let's do this. Hold on. Radio fuse. This goes to on position. There we go. Headlight control needs to go to uh, coupled at the long hood end. Okay. There we are right there. Uh, switch on the systems. All right, let's sit back down in the, in the seat. Turn our systems on here. On, on, and on. There we go. Lights come on to bright. And we got activate required lights on our locomotive. Okay, these guys right here. You have to come on, and you have to come on. And you have to... Can you just move that so I can get to you? Or no? Not going to do it, is it? Mm -hmm. We have to move the dynamic brakes ourselves. Hold on a second here. Why are you doing this to me? Like, what is this happening? It won't move the dynamic brakes. Oh, my. Hmm. That's power. Uh, no, that's you. Oh, that's really bad that they did it that way. I'm going to have to get out of the seat so I can get to it. Hold on. There we go. All right. Set the MU2A valve to lead. You got it. Classic uh, MU2 valve leader dead. And cut out switch to freights. Got it. All right. 30% on you. Hold on a second here. Go to 30%. There we go. Auto brake to release. And raise the brake pipe pressure above 79 PSI. What? Okay. I think we're doing it. A little bit more than that. A little more than that. 79 PSI. There we go. Throttle back to zero. Got it. Reverser to forward. Check. There we go. Objective complete. Let's do it. Ready to rock and roll. Make your way back to Oak Point Yard. You will need to make sure you set any necessary switches. Well, okay, got it. Let's do it, folks. We know throttles to four. That should get her moving pretty good. All right, Oak Point Track 8. Well, while we're just barely cruising here, we're going to go ahead and get our, our switches set where it needs to go. That's back out to there. We need it to be onto that line. That's what we just did. This line comes all the way down this way. See, so they should have your uh, speedometer up when you're in this mode. That'd be pretty cool. All right, you come to there. To there. Which which one are we going to? We're going to this one here. All right, so the green line here, which is this. That's good. That's good. That is good. That's good there. Good, good, good. All the way through to that. And you're good there. I think it's fine. It looks like it'll be fine. We'll keep an eye on it once we get closer, but from what I could tell, it will, it'll be good to go. All right. Let's power this baby up. Let's do it. Back to the yard we go. And uh, since we've seen a lot of this, we'll, uh, we might end up uh, cutting some of this out. Because we've already seen all the scenery. So I'll see you when we get back towards the yard. We have made it to the yard. And we're getting ready to switch right now into the, the track we need to. So I'm going to go to idle here. We're fine on speed right now. But we're going to be going left over this way. And I double checked everything in the map mode. We should have a straight shot in on the tracks. All the way to our destination should not have to mess with any other switches and it should be good let them know we're coming into the yard and we should go left here and then it'll branch off to the correct track because if we didn't do that one right we go straight into that and that would derail that'd be terrible that'd be pretty bad 
Didn't see anything on the way back. No trains or anything like that, so you didn't miss anything. Didn't miss out on a thing. A little bit more power here. As we can have a little more speed in the yard. We're looking good. Be a straight shot. 700 yards out. Another train sitting over there. It's idling. And they let you have pretty decent amount of speed in here. I'm pretty surprised by that, actually. Yeah, so it should stay straight here, and then it'll branch off to the right here, and then the first left. If we did it all right, which I'm pretty sure we did. straight on in yeah nailed it that's what I like to see it's some pretty good speed for a yard honestly what they allow you to, to do 15 in here to have a look outside I'm gonna back to the yard here see back here it has made it in it's a pretty short train like we said not bad at all sometimes it gets stuck in that sound and you have to go back out and back in again the throttle to idle we're just gonna coast this sucker straight on in shouldn't take much braking since we're on perfectly flat elevation a little bit more. A little more power. Because it won't take much. Hundred and thirty five yards. Lonely up here, we don't have oh that we left that fuse box open. Bunch of noobs. That uh, that loading of the track of the railroad ties is pretty annoying. That uh, that distance. Maybe I can increase that or something in options. That's the only thing that I can say that uh, has been blah. All right, we're going full service on the brakes. And we should come to a nice stop right here. There we go, objective complete. Good work, ensure the locomotives are secure, then head over to the nearby pickup truck. Okay, you got it. You got it, let's do it. Uh, I know this is gonna have to go to reverser, to neutral. Yep, I was already, already ready to do that. All right, anything else? Duty complete, head over to the pickup truck. Okay, that's all they wanted me to do. You got it. Uh, I'm out of here we go, and the door up. Close the door. Go around this way and down this. Make sure we don't get hit by a train. There's the pickup truck there. Goodbye, train. That was fun. It was nice. We done for the day in our Isuzu Trooper. We're not a trooper. What is that? It's an Isuzu something. Mission summary. Look at this. Terminal switch is complete. Uh, final score time taken 54 minutes and 25 second or 20, uh, 54 minutes. Yeah. 25, 6.5 miles driven. We walked 0.7 miles at a total of 9,350. We sped a few times, um, two times, I think, uh, didn't seem to dock us too bad. Honestly, that was a lot of fun. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of train sim world. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next time. Take care.